Welcome to a new no code tutorial for NoCo HQ. And in today's short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement an external RSS feed into your Bubble application, uh, thereby always displaying the newest uh, data from a source of your choice, for example, um, a news RSS feed or um, uh, another service uh, that you want to integrate. And what we're going to do, we're just going to display the latest ESPN Sports um, articles basically and headlines using their uh, public RSS feed into our Bubble application dynamically. So what you will need is just a Bubble account and let's create a new app. Um, I'm going to call this app RSS feed demo, okay, and all the other fields here I'm going to leave blank. I'm going to click on create a new app and we will be brought into um, the Bubble application editor. And um, the application assistant will open here on the left, but we want to start with a blank page. I want to close the assistant. And what I always like to do, I just want to decrease the width of the page so it's easier to work with, especially on a laptop, maybe to a width like 900 pixels. That's quite nice. Um, and before I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, start building our simple RSS feed here, um, I just want to show you what we're going to use. So we're going to use the ESPN.com news feeds. And uh, there's a choice of a few different uh, feeds that you can use, the top headlines, NFL, NBA headlines, and so on. And we're going to start off with just the top headlines. So let me just open this URL here. As you can see, this is the RSS feed. Um, in a, uh, if you don't know that, that's an XML structure, but you don't really have to know anything about that to implement it. But um, yeah, we're going to use this page here basically as our source, okay? So let's go over to Bubble again, and the first thing we want to do, do is go to Plugins. We want to add a new plugin, and we want to search for RSS, okay? And we want to take this RSS feed plugin, which is really great, okay? So let's install that plugin, okay? Go back, and uh, let's go to Design now, and uh, we're going to keep things quite simple. So first of all, let me just change the background style here, so I'm going to um, change it to like a grayish color, okay? Um, and let's add a texture at the top, and we're going to call this latest ESPN headlines feed, okay? Uh, let's remove the style here, center that, and um, make that bigger, maybe bold as well, okay? And um, let's just add a repeating group now, okay? So it's a container repeating group, I'm going to center that here. And now the important part comes. So for the type of content, we don't want to use a data type which was created in our data, uh, database of our app bubble application. But what we want to do, we want to get uh, a feed, basically. That's our source, okay? So the type of content is get feed um, RSS channel item, okay? So what we want to do, we want to um, get data from an external API. The API provider is going to be our RSS get feed. And now we just have to insert the feed URL. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over back to this ESPN page here. I'm going to copy the URL and paste that into this field here, okay? Let's close that. And um, so we're gonna choose the get feed uh, RSS channel item, okay? And now we should have a list uh, of all the different channel items within our um, application, basically. So what you can do now, you can just add a text here, okay? And you can say, uh, okay, the current cells uh, get feed RSS channel item, and then you have to access to whatever um, is, basically inside this uh, feed item, okay? So for example, we can access the title, okay? So let's maybe um, center, oops, let's uh, center this title here. Let's just remove the style, make it a bit bigger, maybe like uh, 20, 24 maybe. Center that, make that bold, um, and position that like this, great. And let's also make this uh, italic. And let's actually also, um, or at its position at the top, okay, we can add another text here um, and we're going to just center that as well. We're going to say, okay, this is going to be the current sales get feed RSS channel item um, description. Okay, again, let me just um, center that text, position it, align that center like this, okay. Let's increase the size a bit here, okay, and let's change the separator to a solid line. Let's just add um, a text here which is going to be um, view or visit, okay? And we're actually going to, let's click on, right click on that, replace that by another type, and we want to replace that with a link, okay? Replace, 
and this this visit link will now link to an external URL and it will link to the current sales get feed RSS channel item link. Okay, and want to open that in a new tab. Let's maybe center that, make that bold, and give that like a bluish color, make it a bit bigger, and underline that. Okay, great. Maybe let's make that darker. And uh, now we have um, a nice, uh, basically, repeating group, a list of uh, all the um, individual channel items from this feed here, okay? And as you can see, we will fetch the title, we will fetch the description and the link, okay? Uh, we can also uh, fetch the publish date if you want to do that, but I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Uh, I just want to center all of this now, okay? So within the group it is in, let's also apply a maximum width to this repeating group. And let's go ahead and preview our application and see if this works. I'm going to click on preview. Great. So as you can see, um, our RSS feed implementation works really, really nicely. Um, we have a list of the latest ESPN headlines feeds. So this is the title, the best 49ers cheese, blah, blah, blah. We have the description. Uh, and each basically entry uh, within this uh, uh, of the RSS feed is separated with these lines. In our repeating group, we have a uh, scrolling repeating group, so we can scroll down through all the entries within the RSS feed and see all the newest um, articles, basically, that were published um, or the news headlines that were published by ESPN. And we can click on something um, and we'll both the article. So I just clicked here Ravens something and we're brought to the page Ravens something and your users can take a look um, at the individual um, information. And yeah, that's basically it, to be honest. You could, of course, go ahead and uh, make this um, or modify, um, integrate other uh, feeds, basically RSS feeds. So as you might remember, for the ESPN feeds, we have different categories, basically. And many other services, especially news services, also offer um, an RSS feed or channels for an RSS feed, which you can implement to your bubble application and therefore add some value or, for example, if you have like a sports site or sports community, you want to, for example, um, add these ESPN uh, RSS feeds um, just to give your inf users more information. As you can see, um, this group is quite long and we can scroll through it, through this repeating group, see all the articles. And um, yeah, let's actually just test that quickly with another feed. So let's say um, instead of the um, top headlines, I also want to just show NBA headlines. So let me just open this URL. Okay, I'm just going to copy the URL. Go back here, and I'm just going to copy this repeating group, okay, paste that below, and for the source here, we're going to leave everything the same, except we're going to click on here, and we're going to change the path feed URL. I'm going to paste whatever I just copied, the MBA feed, and let me just copy the text here, the title as well, drag that under, uh, above the second repeating group, and this is going to be latest uh, NBA feed or something like that, MBA news. And if we now preview our application again, um, same thing, we would, should have two um, repeating groups. So first of all, latest ESPN headlines, and now we have the latest MBA news feeds. As you can see, these are all um, articles um, regarding the NBA. And same thing as before, we have access to all this data from their RSS feed, which is fetched from this file here, and your users can browse through that. And yeah. That's basically it, um, quite simple and quite effective. As you can see, you implemented an RSS feed into your Bubble application without writing a single line of code using the great plugin here. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something and we're gonna see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCoHQ. Bye.